Okay, so in terms of financial reporting, generally what you see in an integrated reporting of sustainability accounting or, or um, a sustainability integrated report, what, what you see is that there is a report or kind of an assessment about these four points. And this is what your homework will be about. Try to assess these kind of things, these four perspectives from financial reporting and then later from corporate governance and try to, to, to summarize what's going on in, with these four things uh, in one paragraph, because that's basically what they do in the, in the integrated report. They present this very, very summarized. I, I haven't seen more than three paragraphs about this. Uh, only in special occasions when there is like a huge deal that happened or whatever, like a huge scandal or anything like that. But the, 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 the report talks about these things. First, audit reports. It, in here, it, in, it tries to summarize the opinion of the auditor from the financial statements and, the, and their financial reports. So in here, what you would need to do is to take a look at what the financial report says. In the end, usually there is a letter from the auditor and it will say what's going on in there. Usually, usually the opinion is positive. So usually this is kind of a quick summary of what's going on in there. Then the next step is fraud detection. The next step, it's a, another paragraph. Fraud detection is about with the, with the data that you have and the historical data about the behavior of the company, uh, how can you assess the possibility of fraud or how can the auditor also assess the possibility of fraud? So in here in this second part is about that. It's about to showing what, what are the, historically, has there been a fraud? Has there been a scandal? Has, has there been um, a possibility of um, maybe a correction? That's also part of, of highlights that might be related to fraud, like a financial reporting correction or anything like that. So this is the second paragraph. And the third paragraph is about the quality of the information. The quality of information can be reflected in two ways. Like first, again, the opinion from the people who are doing the audit on the company, people who sign the, the financial statements. But the other one, and it's very interesting and it's very important is what are the standards that they are using? Are they using IFRS? For example, in Mexico, there are some companies that are using IFRS. Who is the company that is uh, auditing their financial statements? Who is the company that is preparing the financial statements? All of these things kind of reflect the quality of the information. And finally, finally historical background is the most qualitative thing about all of this. Because I think audit reports you have um, concrete evidence from the, 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 the what the audit said. Then fraud detection, um, I wouldn't say concrete evidence, but you have some numbers, you have something, you have, you, you, you have maybe uh, evidence that there was a fraud somehow, that there, 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 there was a correction in an account because I don't know, something happened. So you have some degree of evidence. Then in the quality of information, again, you, you, you try to show with, with real things or with tacit things, tangible things, uh, what 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 is the quality of the financial report? So you can say, okay, this company, this I don't know, Deloitte is preparing the financial statements, and then this other company is auditing. So it, it's very tangible. It's it's you you have evidence, but the historical background is more qualitative. It's about um, opinions from people around the organization, like maybe even government. What does the government think about this? Here is where some companies kind of take advantage of the reputation or then suffer from their bad reputation. It really depends on that. So the purpose of this and, 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 giving, and giving you kind of an advice for your homework and even for your final project is that you can write a, a, a short paragraph where you kind of show me what's going on in this. In your homework, I will ask you to, to do this for a public firm as we have been doing in the last versions. But Tell me what about audit reports? What's the opinion from the per person who is doing the audit about fraud detection? What's going on historically? If you have evidence of what's going on, the quality of information, if you, do you have any information that can reveal the, the quality of this? Can it give you some hints about what's going on with their financial reporting? And finally, the historical background, as I said, it's about uh, in some news, What's the reputation? What do the what what does the government say about the, the, the organization? It's basically that something like that. Again, as, as as usual, I don't require like a super deep, very 
in robust study, you can just give me some hints about what's going on. So I think this is the idea of financial reporting, transparency in financial reporting. I will then do the next video about corporate governance.